Dr. Stalker here with a computer tech tip. So imagine yourself at a, a LAN party with your computer, one of those really, really large LAN parties where 10,000 other people are there, and they have their computer set up, and there's a sh it's just this huge organized chaos. So uh, you've, everybody's got their computer set up, and you've just set your computer up, and maybe you've locked it down to the table possibly with one of these or maybe one of those uh, laptop locking mech uh, locking cables and you've just sat down to play your first games so a couple hours in you have to get up maybe go to the washroom or get some food or something and you're gone for maybe 10 minutes and you come back and guess what your computer is missing somebody stole it and despite your best efforts to to lock it down or you know, secure it properly from thieves, it's, it's gone now. So what are you going to do? Well, you have a couple options, such as, uh, to, you have a couple options to retrieve your property, and that would be to go to the organizer, and if you've registered your computer properly with them, and, and uh, you got the right paperwork and that, they might be able to find, the, find uh, the computer for you and bust the thief. But what if that fails? And uh, you're, you're, now you're left with no, with nothing. Your computer's stolen and you're kind of sad that uh, you can no longer play games and you've lost some valuable property. So you got another option here. You can uh, First you're going to have to open up your computer. So you take your computer case and open up your computer like this. Now you notice that there's lots and lots of room in the computer to put stuff. You know, So you could put uh, say like a GPS tracker in here or or something like that, you know, a GPS tracker, battery operated, that uh, you can you can track with your phone or something, you know, just so you can find exactly where it is and call the police and so forth and get them to to find it for you. So anyway, that that option will work, I suppose, unless the thief finds the GPS tracker. And that's that's kind of a bummer if they do, because they'll just remove it, right? So what you got to do, first open up your case and assess how much space you have in here. So there's lots of empty space down here and along the sides and, and what or, uh, maybe even if your computer's not as cramped as mine you'll have a, a lot more uh, hard drive bays in here. Mine's a pre-bought computer so uh, it's kind of cramped and really the bare minimum. But anyway, so you got if you have a larger case this will be easier but I'll show you what to do with mine. So what you got to do is once you've assessed how much volume there is in here, you go down to your local or you know state or provincial or whatever military surplus, and you get yourself some of the good stuff. You, know, you get yourself some of this C4 explosive. This is a uh, let's see, it's a five-inch long block by three and a half by one and a half. So it's a it's a it's a good chunk of explosives in here. So you take that. And oh, while you're there, you might as well go and get yourself a uh, a detonator too. I got a detonator, yeah, like this. And uh, now, now that now that you have this stuff, you can put it in the computer. See, uh, uh, there's not a whole lot of space in here, so I'm going to put one like like this in there. Okay. And oh yeah, just just maybe I'll put get the detonator in here. So got another block with the detonator in it like so there you go that's the that's set up that's ready to go all right so so you take this other block here and we, I'll have to put this detonator in a different spot but take the second block and drop it in like that maybe secure it with some velcro or something and just so it doesn't move around and so the idea here is that when you bring your computer to a public event that you arm it so I still have to put a switch or something in the back, you arm it and with a 15 second delay so that uh, if the computer goes missing and somebody tries to power it up it will basically explode, right? It will just boom, blow up. And uh, So that's a really easy way of finding your computer afterwards or at least finding who stole it. And uh, and yeah, so when this thing goes off, when this block explodes, it'll just it'll create a huge ruckus, 
and uh, everybody will know know kind of what happened and there'll be some questions the thief will have to answer like uh, like why is there a pothole on fifth street a new pothole on the road you know or the neighbor the neighbors will want to know why their house has a second roof on it and stuff like that so really this is the only way to go for protecting your property you know protecting your computer uh, I kind of uh, yeah uh, uh, yeah so all right thanks for watching All right, so I forgot to mention that uh, the airflow is an important thing in your computer, and you don't want to disrupt that by putting these large blocks in the computer. So if you're going to place them in, try not to place them like this, you know, vertically like that, which, uh, which will disrupt airflow coming from the front of the case. And uh, you don't want your computer to overheat because that would interrupt your gaming. So if, you, at all, if at all possible, lay your blocks of C4 here flat, in the case and that will maximize airflow while still protecting your computer now if you don't want to use huge blocks like this I have another option you can use these smaller ones and these ones here they're uh, 10 inches long and eighth of an inch or quarter of an inch thick and an inch and a half wide and so forth yeah. and I call these ones flat mores because they kind of look like a flat and deep more chocolate, chocolate bar but these ones are a lot better for uh, placing in the computer because you can just lay them flat like that. You lay them in there, drop them in, flat on the bottom of the case. And see, there's one and two. And look at that. Yeah, that'll that will barely affect airflow, but you won't get as a big uh, explosion from these these little pieces. But they're a lot easier to fit in the case. It's like you could put them behind the motherboard tray if you wanted because they're 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 low profile. So, all right. Thanks for watching.